It's crazy. Yeah, for people who don't know, I, mean, I feel like most people don't know, except for like the couple thousand people that were at right. those shows. So this is 2017. Right. In New York, in two shows in Atlanta, Alec opened uh, for my first shows in the States. It was the craziest thing ever. It was so cool to like get to see um, someone like, you know, as professional as you and like your show and just like see how no but seriously like that was like Stop. at that at, that's like that was one of the that was one of the that was a really big opportunity for me mm. and and so like to get to see that and to learn was really awesome and um i'm grateful so thank <laughs> no, that's you. just crazy because i feel like i was making it up as i was doing it so yeah I guess for you to be like oh it was so it was so professional i was like i don't know what i'm doing I ever think maybe everybody feels yeah. that way we fake it <laughs> always fake it till you make right. it <laughs> um but no it's kind of crazy it's like full circle because it was in the states and then i just remember it's like there's because we had a met prior to mm -hmm. to the shows i was like there's somebody on stage who has a crazy voice oh thanks who is it and then it's it's alec yeah, and I was, I was like, wearing way tighter pants then, though, so <laughs> <laughs> a lot but, uh, has changed. <laughs> it, it's all good, dude. Like, I don't know. It was like, and then like we met up in LA once or twice. Yeah. So we just hung out. Yeah, and then very cool. And then boom, over the past year maybe, right? Yeah. Things have just kind of taken off. I feel like I've been like working at making music for a long time though because I guess like things just take a while. Forever. Yeah, but yeah. I got like signed and dropped and then just like went through the whole like yeah. the whole ringer and so I've just been I don't know. Can you take us through that process a little bit like what so you move out to LA, you went to USC? Mhm. Mm yeah. Um and you were doing music. What were you studying? Uh I studied music, music but okay. I didn't study much of anything. I took like I got there instantly dropped like my my music theory class was at 7 a.m. Yeah, so that's not happening. Dude. That that worked for about four days, right. uh, and then I dropped that class. I think I always knew going in that I I never really loved school all that much. Mm -hmm. um, but in order to move out to California, um, my parents were like, "We won't support this unless you go to college." <laughs> so I was like, "All right, well, I'll, I'll go to school then." Right. So um, I did that, but I was only in school for about a year and then my second year in school I took like one online gerontology class which like that doesn't really I don't even know it. what that is exactly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a study of human aging oh yeah. wow yeah it was actually fascinating okay. to be honest but um I only that was only like four credits and then okay. I was out so uh, I did that and then like at the end of my freshman year was when I got um, my first record deal um and so I was like all right Time for me to time for me to drop out. Like, peace out. This is it. Yeah. I'm gonna be a star. And, yeah, you know? <laughs> and it didn't really work out that way. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But it was enough for my parents to say, like, it's all right. Like, if you want to leave school and and kind of just do music. Mm -hmm. So I made a whole album, uh, and then I never uh, got to put it out. That which was a bummer to bummer. me. Yeah. What did you end up doing with that album? Um, well, I wasn't they, supposed like to, but I put all the songs on YouTube. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, like I, I was just like, I, I worked so hard on it and I was so proud mm -hmm. of it. And I was like, I really want this music to get out there. Right. So I just started putting it up anyways. I kind of just like went a little bit rogue and yeah. was just like, you know what? I'm putting these songs out. And then at that point, I just kind of did everything I could to get a fan base so I would right. go out in front of other people's shows and sing online until finally you <laughs> finally let me on stage <laughs> so seriously because wait I, was that was it really that like was, the first that was the first time I had gotten on stage like really to open for somebody really? after like maybe eight or or nine months of like singing online so the first two things that I did was I opened for John Bellion and then I opened for you that's crazy Hey guys, did you guys like that video? Then make sure you guys subscribe to Dive Studios YouTube channel and put your notifications on because we got a lot more great content coming your way. Look at this video. See? Wow. Wow. And this and this is great too. Enjoy.